Do you still create Salesforce fields one by one from Object Manager? That's slow, repetitive and honestly painful, especially if you are managing a big org. What if I tell you that you can create and update dozens of fields across objects in minutes and that too from Excel. Today I will show you how you can exactly do that using Excel Connector, a powerful no-code tool that every Salesforce admin and developer should have. Let's say you need to create around 50 to 60 fields for a new object. Doing that manually, it can take hours. But with Excel Connector, you just need to fill out some rows in Excel and just click on upload. It also supports bulk creation, updates, field level security, and even dependency tracking. And yes, it also validates your changes before pushing to Salesforce. So let's get started. As in the previous video, I show you how you can connect your Excel connector with your Salesforce org, right? And here you can see the simple interface of Excel connector where you will see some buttons, refresh, reports, get data, data sources, query rows, and some DML buttons as well, like upsert, update, insert, and delete and delete. Now, today's video is focused on how we can create fields in Salesforce in bulk, and that's what I'm going to show you today as well. So if I go to my Chrome browser, here I am going to show you one demo how I am going to mass create the fields in Salesforce. Now right now you can see I have model, year, condition, status on product object. These are the four fields and I have one custom object as well called test drive where I have three custom fields like date, long text area, lookup. So I'm going to show you how you can create these fields just by putting the data into Excel and you just need to click on update button, right? These fields will be created in Salesforce. So first of all, in order to create fields in Excel connector to Salesforce org, you need to click on other tools here, click on manage fields and click on download fields. Then you need to select your object. So in my case, it is product two. I'm going to click on product two and click on download. So right now you can see, you will be able to view the fields that I already have on this particular object. And from row one to five, you will see some set of instructions, how to use this Excel connector in order to create slash update fields, right? So that's pretty simple and you can check out the instruction as well. I already go through the tool. I already did some demo uh, for myself. So I already know about it, how to do that. But in case if you are new, you can basically read out the instruction. They are very straightforward and easy to understand. So now in order to create new fields, what exactly I need to do? I need to simply type product to that is object name and then I need to define what is the field name. I will also show you like if I add model here, let's say control C and paste it over here. Now it's a text field. The length is 100 and label let's say model. Now if you want to provide any description, you can. It is very easy to provide a description as well and it will be updated over there. So here I added the description for this particular field and we have a lot of attributes for different type of fields but for text field these attributes are fine now i need to simply select the row which i want to add into the salesforce simply click on update and click on update selected now this time i will get error and i know why i am getting this error right but just want to show you how you can actually achieve the same so if you click on yes it will redirect you to the uh, error phase so if I simply stretch the column, here you can see model does not resolve to a valid as object type. Full name must end with underscore underscore C or underscore underscore X based on the field type. So as you know, model is a custom field, right? So I need to append underscore underscore C over there. So by this, you can understand we are not just making any changes. The changes are also validated as well. So here I am going to select the row again click on update button and click on update selected. So here you can see now it gets created and we did not get any kind of pop-up for error. So status is also visible here that is created. Now I also want to create the other three fields that I have on product object. So for example, year, condition and status. So I will simply select one by one. Let's say year, condition and status. And in the same way, I am going to type the product name here, the object name, and now I need to define the data type, 
let's say number the list and if it is a number i need to define the precision so as you can see year so i want around four digits of number now i need to provide the label let's say year condition and status if you want to provide the description you can now for the number field we are good with the precision for pick list as you know we need to provide the values what are the values we have for pick list so here you will see we have an attribute called value set right and on in the same way like if you want to use any global set you can provide global set over there if you want to use your own values you can provide the value set over here so i will simply go to my excel sheet and copy down the value set that i have paste it over there i will do the same for the status as well and paste it so now we are good uh, for the creation of the fields i will select the row year condition and status and now simply click on update now before showing you the creation of field let me show you whether these field exist on product or not so let's go to product go to field and relationship and let's say here i am going to type year so see no field is there let's say condition no field is there and let's say status no field is there now i am going to hit update and update selected so here you can see we didn't get any kind of pop up that means fields are created and in the right you can see the status as well created 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 now let's go back and try to search for status so here you can see this time we are getting a status we are getting condition and we are getting year as well so i hope you get the point now i am teaching this concept uh, to you so it will take some time but when you are actually going to perform the job where you need to actually create around 50 or 100 fields in a single go it will be very quick right so i hope you understand how fast it is in the same way i am going to do it for another object that is test drive so test drive is a custom object in my org and that is brand new i don't have any available fields over there so what exactly i am going to do go to other tools create manage fields and here i am going to select my test drive object and i will click on open in new sheet so it will create a different sheet let me click on download so as you can see no records found because it's a brand new object so that's why you are not able to see anything but in order to add some fields over there i need to define the object api name and now in the same way i just need to create three rows because i am going to create three fields over there now let's move to the sheet that i have in order to create fields so here you can see test drive date date field then we have customer feedback that is long text area and then we have customer that is look up with contact now here i am going to define the data type it's a date field it's a long text area and it's a look up so for long text area we also need to define the length so that's a 10000 i need to define the label for all these three fields let's say test drive date customer feedback and customer now for the long text area we also need to show number of visible lines so let's say 10 is the visible lines for look up you also know we also need to define to which object it is a look up field right so we need to look for reference to so here you can see here it is so it is reference to with contact and then we have a relationship name as well so let's say test drives and we have label so let's say test drives so i think we are good if we have any kind of error it will show us while creating these three fields so i am going to select these three rows and click on update click on update selected so let's check the status because we didn't get any kind of error so here you can see all these three fields gets created now let's move back to the org and change the object to test drive let's click on it click on field and relationship so now here you can see customer is a look up field customer feedback is a long text area and test drive date is a date field so i hope you get the point now right now i am working with a very small data model where i have limited number of fields just want to show you how you can do that with the excel connector but imagine 
you are working with 50 to 100 fields where you need to create doing it manually in salesforce org is going to be very hectic and see where this excel connector came into picture and how easy it will make your job in order to creation of field or in the same way you can update as well right for example if i move over here the customer feedback that we have 10000 is very less i want to change the length of 10000 to 20000 for customer feedback field what exactly i need to do i simply need to change the length i am going to select the row click on update and update selected so here you can see it is done now let's check in our org i simply need to refresh and this time you can see the length is now changed to 20000 so see how easy it is and i hope uh, you basically learned something new from this particular tutorial in the next video i will come up with an interesting topic for the same excel connector make sure you check it out thank you i hope you like the video and make sure to check out the description of this video to get the related links for this particular feature and in the next video i will cover the next feature of excel connector so make sure you stay tuned and if you like this video make sure you hit the like button and subscribe this channel for more such videos thank you